Ever wondered what's the best way to pack your clothes for a trip? It's a question as old as travel itself. The suitcase conundrum, to fold or to roll, each method has its advocates and detractors, and it's a debate that can split a room faster than you can say carry on, but fear not, dear wanderer, because we're about to dig deep into the folds and rolls of this enduring dilemma. Stay tuned as we unfold the mystery of packing clothes the right way. Dive right in, first up, folding clothes. A classic method used by many. Now, folding clothes is a tried and true technique with a number of advantages. It maintains crease lines, keeping your dress shirts and slacks looking sharp and ready for that business meeting or fancy dinner. It's also ideal for bulkier items like sweaters and jeans, which might not roll as compactly. But every rose has its thorn and folding is no exception. One potential downside is that it can take up more space in your suitcase. Each folded item creates a flat layer, and these layers can add up quickly, especially if you're packing for an extended trip. Additionally, folding may not be the best choice for backpackers. Those creases we love can turn into wrinkles when clothes are stuffed into a backpack. Folding clothes can be an art, but it's not the only way to pack your suitcase. Shift gears now and explore the rolling method, a favorite among backpackers. This technique is a space saver, allowing you to fit more into your suitcase or backpack. It's like a magical puzzle where everything fits just right. Plus, rolling can reduce wrinkles on certain fabrics, giving you that fresh, ready-to-go look right out of your luggage. However, not every silver lining is without its cloud. Rolling is not a universal solution for all types of garments. Stiff fabrics or structured items like blazers and dress shirts might not take kindly to this method. And while it can prevent some wrinkles, it can also cause deep creases if not done correctly. The key is to know your wardrobe. Understand which items will benefit from being rolled and which won't. Experiment, tweak, and adjust until you find the perfect balance. Rolling clothes might seem like a game changer, but remember, it's not one size fits all. Now that we've tackled folding and rolling, here are some additional space-saving tips for your suitcase. First off, consider using packing cubes. These nifty little organizers are a traveler's best friend. They come in different sizes and allow you to compartmentalize your items, making it easier to find what you need without rummaging through your entire suitcase. Plus, they help compress your clothes, freeing up precious space. Next, let's talk about your shoes. These bulky items can take up a lot of room, but did you know they also provide storage opportunities? Fill them up with smaller items like socks, underwear, or even chargers to maximize every inch of your suitcase. Now, on to layering clothes. This isn't just a fashion statement, but a packing strategy too. Start with heavier items at the bottom of your suitcase and gradually layer lighter items on top. This distributes the weight evenly and prevents delicate items from getting squashed. And don't forget the corners and sides of your suitcase. These often overlooked spaces are perfect for stuffing belts, ties, scarves, or even your hair straightener. Just make sure to wrap them in a piece of clothing to prevent any damage. Lastly, always remember to leave a little room for souvenirs or items you might pick up during your travels. You never know when you might stumble upon that perfect keepsake. Armed with these tips, packing efficiently will be a breeze. Now we've journeyed through the pros and cons of folding and rolling and even picked up some packing tips along the way. Let's do a quick recap. Folding clothes the traditional way is a great choice for heavier items like jeans or sweaters and it also helps avoid creases on dressier pieces. On the flip side, rolling clothes is a space saver, perfect for t-shirts, skirts, and other casual wear. It also reduces wrinkles, a bonus for those on the go. We've also discovered that the choice between folding and rolling really depends on the type of clothes you're packing and your personal preference. For instance, a business trip might call for more folded clothes, while a beach vacation might benefit from rolled ones. And remember those space-saving packing tips? Use shoes as storage, layer your clothes, and fill up every nook and cranny. Remember, the goal is to pack smart, not hard, so experiment and find what works best for you. Happy travels!